So if I have a code word, uh, excuse me, let me back up. A descendant at level L max is one of three things. It is, uh, it is one of three things. One is a code word. So uh, this could be one of the code words of maximum length. In other words, this leaf represents a code word. Second thing is it could be a descendant of a code word, which by the prefix property has been eliminated from the code. Or thirdly, it could be neither. What it cannot be is it cannot be both. It cannot, it cannot be both a code word and a descendant of a code word, because all code words eliminate all of their descendants from the code. So, uh, for example, from my previous code, Lmax was two. There are four descendants of level two. Cardinality of u is two to the Lmax. Four, so that's one, two, three, four. And what we have is that these two descendants are code words, these two are descendants of code words. Uh, and we have nothing that's neither. So by the prefix property, the um, Each code word has um, each code word of length LX has how many descendants at the bottom level? It has cardinality of U to the power of L max minus L of X. Descendants at level L max, and the descendant sets are disjoint. In other words, each descendant can only be the descendant of exactly one code word because no code word can be the descendant of any other code word. So for instance, if we ex extended this code like so, so here's level 0, level 1, level 2. This code word at level 1, L max is 3. This code word at level 1, has four descendants at level three. That's two to the power of three minus one. And that's because from this point, I can construct a tree with three minus one, which is two levels. Similarly, from this point, I can construct a tree with one level. And what's more, if I have any descendant down here, it must have descended from exactly one code word. Because, code, again, code words do not descend from each other. So therefore, once I once I have uh, a leaf that terminates this graph, all of its descendants are removed. So therefore, these descendant sets are disjoint. So that's important. For the following reason. The sum of all the, uh, of all the descendants of code words, so all the descendants of code words, are the total. of descendants of code words is, we 
because they're disjoint, I can just add them up. In other words, there's no descendant that's descended from more than one code word. So for any code word, the number of descendants is cardinality u to the l max minus l max. So the total number of uh, all of the descendants of all of the code words is just the sum of these. Again, the reason why I can sum this is because they're, they're, they're disjoint. In other words, uh, any descendant can only be descended from at most one code word. If, they, if the sets were not disjoint, then this sum would not produce um, the, the, uh, the total number of descendants. So um, remember that a descendant can either be a code word, a descendant of a code word, or neither. So what's the total number of descendants at level L max? It's 2 to the L max, or excuse me, it's cardinality of u to the L max. So uh, this counts the set of all, um, of all descendants that are either descendants of a code word or themselves code words. If Lx equals L max, then, uh, then this, is, this exponent is 0, so that's 1. There's only one descendant of a node at the bottom level. So therefore, this must be less than or equal to the total number of descendants at the bottom level. It's less than or equal because it doesn't count uh, doesn't count uh, leaves that are neither code words nor descendants. And this is the total number of leaves at level L max. And this is the number of um, code uh, of code words and descendants at L max. So what I can do with this is I can take out cardinality of U to the L max from both sides. And I get that this is equal to sum over all possible outcomes of the random variable x. If I divide by cardinality of u to the L max, I just remove uh, cardinality of u to the L max here, and I get cardinality of u to the minus L of x is less than or equal to this divided by cardinality of u to the L max is 1. And that is the graph inequality. So that proves that if I have a prefix code, it satisfies the craft its length satisfies the craft inequality. The converse, which is that if I have a bunch of lengths that satisfy the craft inequality, they must form a prefix code. Thank you. 